Hi there and welcome to this video tutorial from Solax Power. Today we're going to show you how to get your system online and connected to the Solax Cloud using our Ethernet solution, the Pocket LAN. The first thing you need to do is to plug the device into the inverter which you can see demonstrated here. Once you have done that, connect an Ethernet cable from the Pocket LAN directly into one of the router's LAN ports. This can be done via a power line adapter if the router is not in close vicinity of the Solax system. Once the Ethernet has been connected to a LAN port of the router, please perform a quick reboot of your router just to make sure that the router and the Pocket LAN can begin to communicate. Stage 2. Creating a Solax Cloud Account now we go to the Solax Cloud website, which as you can see is www.solaxcloud.com, then we click sign up. I'm just setting up a test site, so I'll use some generic entries here. The important field here is the registration number, so this number can be found either on the Pocketland box or on the Pocketland dongle itself, it usually starts with an S. OK, so you can set your country here. I'm in the UK, so I just select United Kingdom. It's important to choose your desired email address now, as this is the email address that you will receive alerts and alarms to, so make sure you have access to this account. These two fields are not necessarily important, so you can leave them blank. Agree to both of these. Information visible to agents and installers is quite important because your installer might want to have remote visibility of your system and this will enable them to do that. Once we have entered that, we go into a second screen which asks for a bit more information here. Here you can add your full address. I'm just going to add our UK office address into here. For the time zone, obviously just scroll through the list until you get to the correct time zone. We are obviously going to set it here to UTC plus zero, which is a time zone for London. And again, just enter your country name here. Fill out the rest of these details if you want to, I'm just going to fill in the postcode and town fields here. Just below the town field you can see it is asking for the system size. This is related to the size of the panel array you have. If you are unsure about this, your installation company should be able to tell you the size. Now the map should have auto-located to the details you entered. Occasionally it won't, in which case I'll show you how to move the map marker to your precise location because it doesn't always auto-locate depending on your browser settings and security settings. Simply click and drag the map to move it and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Then just click on the marker icon on the top right hand side of the map and click once again on where you want the marker placed. You can leave the bottom two fields blank. Make sure you tick this box so that installers can view your system. Now just click on complete and we're done. Then log in using the username and password you set during the sign up process. Make sure end user is selected. It is by default. Note that the username and password are both case sensitive, so ensure that you are entering them both in the correct case. That then takes us into our account. Because the system we have here isn't connected to any PV or a battery, the figures are all showing zero. If you click on inverters on the left hand side, you can now see your system here. As you can see, the inverter serial number is now populated and you can also see the online status is showing as online, which means it is now connected to the network. If your system is still not showing as online, please contact your installation company or local Solax office for advice.
Thank you.